Welcome to this module on managing chat queues in Inbox. In this section, we are going to see how tickets can be raised on the Yellow AI platform and how to manage them using chat queues. The Inbox module can be accessed using two roles, the Inbox Agent and the Inbox Administrator. The current login is that of an Inbox Administrator. Let us click on the Inbox module and then click on Chats. In the Overview tab, the administrator can see a dashboard showing details like the number of online visitors and the agents in the system. A couple of Inbox agents are currently logged into the platform. On getting connected to the Inbox module, their availability is updated in the dashboard in the Agent Availability widget. In the Agent login, the availability of the agent can be updated in the Profile section to Available, Away or Busy. These statuses are also reflected in the Agent Availability widget in the dashboard. A ticket can be raised in the system and assigned to an agent only when the agent is online with the status as available. The Inbox Administrator can decide how many tickets can be handled simultaneously by an agent. Click on the Settings tab and then click on Agent Configuration page. On selecting an agent record, we can change the maximum concurrent tickets to be handled by the agent. This value is set to 2 for both the agents who are currently available online in the system. This means that up to 4 tickets can be raised in the system and handled by these agents simultaneously. Additional tickets raised in the system cannot be assigned to these agents because their concurrency is full. As an administrator, we can choose to store these additional tickets in a queue until one of more of the agents get free to take up a new ticket. Click on the Chat Configurations page and click on Chat Queues. Queues can be enabled for various groups created in the system. For the default group, let us enable the chat queue and set its size as 1. The indexing of the queues start from 0. This means that a total of 2 tickets can be stored in the queue. In the Studio section, click on Try Your Bot and click on the Bot Direct link. This shows a preview of the bot in a new browser tab. Copy the URL. We can now test the bot as an end user using this URL and raise a few tickets in the platform and then look at how they are handled. In this bot, we have a journey configured to speak to a live agent. When we trigger this journey as an end user, we are asked to provide our name, phone number, email ID, and a description of the issue or the query. On entering all the details, the platform automatically raises a ticket in the platform and assigns it to one of the available agents in the system. The assignment of the tickets happen using a round-robin algorithm. After successful assignment of the ticket, the user can see the name of the agent in the chat window. The bot is no longer active and moves to the paused status. The agent can click on the Chats tab next to the Overview tab and see all the tickets that are assigned. The agent will now be able to interact with the user. They can transfer the chat to one of the available agents or close the chat once the user's issue is resolved. In the administrator login, the number of online visitors in the system can be seen in the overview tab. In the chats tab, the administrator can see the number of active chats in the system. On clicking on a chat, details like the status of the ticket and the assigned agent can also be seen. The chats in the system under different statuses can be located in different sections. The list of chats can also be filtered according to different criteria. We have raised three more tickets in the system and both the agents available online are assigned two tickets each. In the administrator login, we can see that a total of four chats can be seen in the active chat section. In the inbox agent login, we can see that the two tickets assigned to the agent can be seen under my chats section in the chats tab. If further tickets are going to be raised in the system, those tickets are stored in the chat queue, and they can be found in the system in the queued status under the open and queued chat section. The chat queue size is configured as 2, and that is the number of tickets we see in the queued status. Tickets cannot be raised beyond this stage, and any attempt to do so will result in a technical error. In order to assign further tickets in the system, one of the agents should close the existing tickets assigned to them so that the tickets currently stored in the queue can be assigned to them. Now new tickets can also be stored in the queue. Thanks for watching.